God has plans to prosper you, give you hope and a future too. So let me remind you of what you have the power to do. You can win, live your dreams, reach your goals. Hello, you're listening to the Cassandra Mack Podcast, where we maximize success and de-stress from the mess through a biblical lens. Make sure to hang out until the end. I have a prayer that I'm going to pray just for you. When you get a moment, stop by the website, CassandraMackMinistries.com. Check out our books, inspirational mugs, hoodies, and t-shirts, all designed with our mental health in mind to inspire us all to live our blessed life and Go out and get my brand new inspirational single, Grateful, Thankful, and Blessed. It will surely bless your life. It is available on all streaming platforms. And you can also go to CassandraMagMinistries.com and click on the link that says music. So we are now in the month of December. If this is your birthday month, happy birthday to all of the December birthdays. If this is your birthday month, Put it in the comments. This is my birthday so that we know it is your birthday month. Shout out to those of you listening from all around the world. Please let me know what part of the world are you tapped in from. So today's podcast is being sponsored by my uh, Simple Prayers book for the holidays. And this is a book that offers a variety of prayers that really speak to the many emotions that people will feel around the holiday season. And so it makes a great stocking stuff for a great gift. Uh, it just makes a great personal keepsake when you just need that prayer to start you on your way. So on today's episode, we're talking about this. You do not have to say yes to invitations and experiences that do not align with your journey and how you want to show up in this world. I said a mouthful. So one of the things that create a lot of angst, a lot of angst, especially around the holidays, is you're going to get a lot of invitations. You get invitations to things with your job. It might be family invitations. And sometimes there's this pressure to say yes to places and spaces that don't really align with your journey that don't align with how you want to show up in this world. So for example, if you are on a journey of emotional healing and you are focused on healing your life, you are doing the work and you get that phone call inviting you to a gathering where you know there are going to be uh, people who are going to come at you with all kinds of negativity, Uh, This particular group of friends, it can be family, like the gossip, uh, they drink, and when they drink, they act a fool. And you know that you really don't want to be around that. And it is not that you are thinking that you're better than the next human being. You are bettering yourself. It is about your journey. It has nothing to do with other people, even though people will take your declining their invitation personally. Do understand that it is your life. And so understand that you don't have to say yes to every invitation and every experience, especially those that do not align with your journey and how you want to show up in this world. And so when you get these invitations, especially if you are stressed and you are in a place of unrest about issues such as this, I want you to close your eyes And I want you to do this quick exercise because it is going to help you figure out what to say yes to concerning invitations around the holiday season. And you can broaden it, but 
for this podcast, we're going to speak to invitations around the holiday season and what you may need to say no to. So the first question that you want to ask yourself is, what journey am I on? What journey am I on? So are you on a journey of emotional healing? Are you on a journey of mental well-being? Maybe you're in therapy. Are you on a journey of sobriety? Are you on a journey of financial planning where you are trying to save money and you can't go to every dinner, every brunch, every gathering, everything that requires you to spend money because you have a goal that you are trying to achieve? Are you on a journey of just leveling up your life and you no longer want to be in places and spaces that don't value your presence? And when you go to these places and spaces, you're kind of like a fly on the wall just sitting over in the corner and the event is more about creating pictures uh, to post on social media than it is about connecting with you. And sometimes we have to be that real with ourselves, even when it comes to dealing with family, because the thing to remember about family is that family, family are people first. Family are people first. And sometimes we get so caught up in the title of family that we forget that Family are human beings of the world first. Now, some are not of the world. They're in the world. They're believers, but they're human beings first. Before they're related to you, they're human beings with their own goals, their own dreams, their own agenda, their own personality, their own idiosyncrasies. And sometimes we are so invested in the notion of family that we create false realities that don't really align with the truth of what you experience when you're around family. And so what journey are you on in this season? You got to be clear because the clearer you are about the journey that you are on and what it is that you were trying to do, be, and have in this season, the easier it becomes to honor the fact that you don't have to say yes to every invitation even though people are going to be upset with your, with your no. Even though people are going to be mad, people may even talk about you. That's okay. They talked about Jesus. You will survive the gossip, I guarantee you. I have never seen a death certificate that said cause of death, they gossiped about me. And so begin to really think about your journey. And then the second question I want you to reflect on and ask yourself is, how do you want to show up in this world? And so if you want to show up from a space of joy, from a space of peace of mind, from a space of protecting those things, and you are receiving invitations that are going to place your peace and your joy at risk, baby, you grown. You have every right to refuse to say yes to invitations and experiences that don't align with how you want to show up in this world. See, there are some friends and family members who will relate to you from a space that you no longer reside in. And you have got to be able to discern that. There will be family members who will bring up things that are 20 years old, 30 years old, and you are not even that person anymore. But because that is the emotional space that they are in, they want to drag you with them. And you have got to be clear that that, is, that has nothing to do with me. You have to figure that out. You got to move on. But I'm moving and growing and flowing. And so when you are in that space, you have to be very protective and selective about where you allow your presence to reside about where you bring your presence to the spaces and places. And so you don't have to say yes to every invitation. You will have some people that will relate to you. Maybe you struggled with drug addiction over 10 years ago and you have been clean and sober for 10 years. But when you get around that family member, they want to constantly tell stories of the time that you fell down pissy drunk. Yes, I said pissy drunk. If you're offended, my podcast ain't for you. They want to constantly bring that up and it's embarrassing for you. 
And that's not who you are today. You have a right to decline invitations that don't honor your present. So really begin to think about what journey am I on in this season? And if I accept this invitation and I participate in this experience with this individual or group of individuals, is it going to honor my journey and how I am showing up today? Or is it misaligned with where I'm trying to go? And let me say this. When you decline invitations, it doesn't mean you don't have love for people you got history with. It doesn't mean that if they were in dire need and you have the ability to assist in some capacity, whether that means giving them $20, bringing some groceries, that you won't assist in the capacity in which you are capable of assisting as led by God. But that does not mean that you have to take up constant space in experiences that don't honor your journey and how you want to show up in this world. And so it really comes down to letting your yes be yes and your no be no. Matthew 5 verse 37 tells us, let your yes be yes and your no be no for whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Now, that's a strong word. Whatever is more than these is from the evil one. This is how important it is to be clear with your words. Be clear with your word to yourself. Be clear with your word to other people. And so the scripture in essence is letting us know that not only are we to be people who mean what we say as believers, you got to mean what you say, but we are also to be people who keep our word. And so sometimes when you accept invitations, when you say yes too quickly, too prematurely, even though a little warning bell went off, that little voice in your head said, I really don't want to be there. I really want to do something else instead. I really want to spend this holiday in a new way, in a different way. Maybe I want to create my own tradition. Maybe I just want to be by myself curled up with a good book. Even if my choice to honor how I want to show up in the world offends my family, it is not their choice. You are not doing something offensive, but people will take offense when they cannot have their way and they will make up a story about it. But that is not your issue, nor is it your problem. And so the problem becomes when we resort to backpedaling on what we said or wavering or outright lying, we're giving the enemy a foothold, right? When we say yes to things that in our heart of hearts, and you know the moment you say yes, the moment you say yes and you're saying yes to something that you truly, truly know that you need to say no to, you feel it in your body. Your body feels tense after the yes. When the words leave your mouth, you feel tense. There's tension, even if it's very subtle. When the words leave your mouth, there's an energetic shift in how you feel emotionally because it is a pulling of your energy in a direction that doesn't align with that which honors you. And so what happens when we say yes prematurely to things that we need to say no to, oftentimes it will cause us to resort to backpedaling. How quickly can I get out of this? It will cause us to resort to Resort to wavering where we're going back and forth and back and forth and we're calling five people, seeking advice from 25 people to something that we know in our heart of hearts. We don't need another person to give us permission to say, I choose to do this instead of that. I choose to not show up for people who don't really show up for me. I choose to not participate in dysfunction. I choose to not want to sit in spaces where I am treated as if I don't even exist. I, I can choose that for myself. And so the scripture lets us know that anything more than a simple yes or a simple no is of the devil. This is powerful. And the reason why it's from the devil is because it gives the devil a foothold. The minute we backpedal, the minute we waver, the minute we lie, the minute we over explain and add to the story more than needs to be added to the story because we are operating from a space of 
uh, manipulating the situation rather than just being upfront and saying, yes, so we may not look at it as deception and manipulation, but at the heart it is. We're deceiving ourselves. We're deceiving ourselves because the truth of the matter is when you're saying yes to something that you know in your, in your spirit that you need to say no to, you are deceiving yourself because your Holy Spirit knows what's best for you. The Holy Spirit is flowing through you as a believer. And so we want to be careful about giving the devil a foothold. Ephesians 4 and 27 says, do not give the devil a foothold. And so when we allow our yes to be yes and our no to be no, what this does is it reinforces who we are in Christ. It reinforces who we are in Christ. Because personal integrity is Christ-like. Personal integrity. Christ is the truth, the way, the light, the life. And so personal integrity is an important factor. And it should be understood by you, by yourself, when you're speaking your words. That maintaining integrity to yourself as well as to other people is essential. It affects our witness. It affects our witness. And so as we get closer and closer to Christmas, we're already in December, there's office parties, there, there are family gatherings, friendship outings, friendship gatherings. Be clear about the journey that you were on in this season. Be clear about how you want to end this year. Be clear about how you want to show up for yourself. You want to show up God-led. Be clear about that. And give yourself permission to honor Matthew 5, 37, which says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. It doesn't say let your no be no with a hundred excuses. It's saying keep it short and sweet. Yes or no, that's it. And you know, as soon as you're invited, there's, there's, there's a feeling you feel before the words leave your lips. Your body doesn't lie to you energetically, emotionally, because all emotions are, are thought, energy, and motion. Your emotions are not going to lie, even if you don't verbalize how you feel to the other person doing the asking. And understand that it is not about rejecting the individual. It is not about rejecting your family. That is not what you're doing when you choose to say no to things that don't align with your journey. It is not about rejecting them. That is not what you're doing. Do not be gaslit. Do not allow people to game you and confuse you. You are honoring your faith walk. You are honoring your journey. You are honoring how you want to show up. And you are honoring Matthew 5, 37 by letting your yes be a clear yes and letting your no be a crystal clear no. So I hope this was helpful for those that were on the fence about the invitations that you are receiving and you are like, you know, I really don't want to go, but I'm feeling pressured and uncle so-and-so said I need to be there and aunt so-and-so called me five times and said, well, family's everything. But you need to understand that even though they feel that way, you have to ask yourself, does this honor how I want to feel? how I want to show up, and the journey that I'm on now. And everybody's not going to understand your journey because it's yours. And it's okay if they don't understand. It is okay if they become mad. They will get over it or they will figure out a way to process it. That is their work to do, not yours. So be compassionate. You can say no with grace. You can say no from a place of love. You can say no from a place of understanding. But personal integrity is key. So I hope this helps you if you're on the fence. So let's pray. And 
I want to share a couple of things before the prayer. So if you want to dive deeper, I strongly encourage you to become a member of the Cassandra Mack YouTube channel. We have a Wednesday Wellness Club that meets twice a month, and we focus on mental health, emotional healing, mental mastery, self-care through a biblical lens. It is very therapeutic. That is the feedback that we get from members. We do activities. We even have little homework assignments, and they're self-assessment kind of homework assignments that allow us to grow in our faith walk, that allow us to grow in personal development, and that allow us to grow in self-mastery. So that if this sounds like something that you want to tap into, that you want to be part of, uh, click on the link in the bio, if you are in the uh, description box, I should say, if you are hearing this from YouTube, and you'll see that there are three levels to become a member. And if you are a member at the second tier or higher, you gain access to the Wednesday Wellness Club, our therapeutic club. You also gain access to the book club and so much more. So you'll choose the level that works for you. And I would encourage you to not wait on that. Mental health is important. And for the believer, we want to make sure that uh, when we're focusing on our mental well-being, that we're doing that through a biblical framework. And that's what's offered in the Cassandra Mac Wednesday Wellness Club. Uh, if you don't have simple prayers for the holidays, I would encourage you to get that book. It makes a great gift. It'll offer prayers that really resonate with the myriad of emotions that people experience during this time of year. There are prayers for all kinds of things, and uh, it will really, really bless your life. And so uh, let us pray. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to be more intentional about what it is we say yes to. Help us to remember that we don't have to say yes to every invitation, to every experience, especially the things that do not align with your purpose, with what you were doing in our lives in this season, with how we want to show up in this world. Help us to let our yes be yes and our no be no. We thank you and we seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. And if our ministry has been a blessing to you, please consider giving an offering. Every bit helps. I want to say a big thank you to those of you who support this ministry with your financial donations and offerings. We couldn't do what we do without your assistance. When you give to the ministry, you are actually doing ministry with us. You are doing the work of the ministry. You know, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. And so you are helping us to do the work of this ministry and you are part of it when you sow into the ministry. If you would like more inspiration again, you can join the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel, uh, especially at the second tier or higher to gain access to the Wednesday Wellness Club. And you can join us every Sunday for church by phone. For more information for church by phone, visit our website, CassandraMacMinistries.com. God bless you. Take care of yourselves and each other.